Hey everybody, welcome on in the Home Fix. It's Loretta. I'm at Celestial Maples here in Gig Harbor. I was here in spring and now it's super late fall. This is what the trees are looking like right now in the greenhouse area. I'm going to take you to the open space with the larger trees, but make sure you stick around. Let me know what your trees are looking like in your area. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and then hit that like button. Well, there are lions, tigers, and bears here. <laughs> at this particular nursery y'all check these guys out what do you think they're saying to me right now comment down in the comment section caption this awesome we're here with dan the co-owner here at celestial maples and the doggy what's our doggy's name this is lucy in and the sky with diamonds oh hey lucy oh she's so pretty so tell us what this tree is that you're standing next to. Uh, this is a lace leaf, Japanese maple lace leaf called Inaba Shidera. Uh, just a beautiful burgundy tree that turns red in the fall. Like it's just starting to do right now. This red like this, bright red. Just a beautiful twisty lace leaf. So tell us a little bit about, we're now at the end of the season in regards to fall, heading into winter. What advice do you have for owners of Japanese maple trees and care? Well, in, in the Pacific Northwest here, um, um, really the climate here is mild enough that maples do super well uh, here. There really are no precautions that you have to take at all for the Japanese maples. Even if it gets down to 10 degrees or 15 degrees or it, we get snow and ice, um, the maples do fine in that okay. weather. Um, a lot of their fluids go down into their roots underneath the ground and so the branches do fine. They typically don't get any freezing damage uh, in the winter time. Um, uh, just don't let them dry out if you have any under your eaves or anything like that. But okay. basically you don't have to do anything. And winter is a good time to prune them, uh, to clean them up a little bit, uh, mm -hmm. remove dead branches and things like that. When uh, you can see when all the leaves are down, you can see all their structures. So other than that, just, uh, um, you know, get the weeds down, do a little pruning and wait for the beautiful spring to come back and all the, all the gorgeous springtime leaves that will come back. Then. Now you are shutting down for the season. Give us some information in regards to that sure. process. Yeah, at Celestial Maples, we um, are open regular hours each week, usually Thursdays through Saturdays, 10 to four. We do that from April through the end of October. Then when the leaves come down and the trees are all there, most people have a lot of trouble finding good, finding being able to select a tree without the leaves on the tree. And so business goes down to a real quiet level. So we close for our regular hours, but we're here working all the time anyway, and we're always glad to have visitors. Um, just give us a call or a text on our phone number at 425-890-2856, and uh, we can set up a time that's convenient to you. We're just glad to have you visit anytime. Sometimes the winter is a great time to see the branch structures and and uh, pick out a real special centerpiece tree just from the structure. And then you can see the foliage online or in the photos and then you know it'll come out that way in the spring. And then uh, in April, we'll come bursting out with new foliage and we'll open everything back up again to regular weekly hours.
I hope you have enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, comment below, and then hit that like button. I hope that you got a couple of tips from what Dan was able to share with you in regards to Japanese maple tree care as we head into the winter season. Make sure you check out the playlist down below in the description box. There'll be tons of videos there for you, including other seasons of celestial maples. In the meantime, I will see you guys right back here for the next video of Home Fix. Have a great weekend.